Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch as we continue on after the last episode. We made it to the to the hideout to the of the Sky Pirates and we found their airship and now we're in their cave. So as we continue on, we will hop on to their ship and see what happens next. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always guys. And I was gonna show you this. So I've moved my team up a little bit. I took away Swain and Dragoon and the Yellow Buncher. The reason I did this is because I feel like he will be a very good addition to the team. I don't know why, I just feel like he will. Don't ask me questions. I just do things, okay? I feel like the Godfather, the Gobfather, and that's what I named him, the Godfather, because I love that name. I loved it. Anyway, so, oh, let me clean my glasses. That made it worse. Let me clean my glasses one more time. Nope, still got a smudge. Eh, I can live with that. Okay, anyway, I feel like he's going to be a good addition to the team. I feel like he will be a good addition to the team as well. He's already stronger than this guy. Um, everything except for magical defense but anyway and then this guy I remember him I remember having him in my uh, old team he is a tank so I will take that he can take a punch that's for sure and I feel like that's what Sway needs the guy that can take that hit like that um, Esther is horrible because once Esther once the once our grifter is out of commission like in boss battle she has no one else to kind of turned to the green bobana buncher was becoming the weaker one of the two so 123 113 you see what i mean so we'll put him back on here <clears throat> he's obviously green bobana buncher and he, somehow he's at level 22 this guy's already at level 26 so i don't know how that works but anyway this guy's obviously a better fit for esther i feel like um, as far as that goes, uh, this guy is going to be like, if he comes out the way I want him to, this guy will be a powerhouse and Esther will probably be the best one as far as familiars go. I'm not getting rid of Seymour. I'm not getting rid of him. Well, depending on how that goes. I'm probably not going to get rid of Mighty anytime soon, honestly. And then Swain has his Bone Ranger, which is definitely better than I feel like does this the Swain here or the Dragoon. So let's test my theory. Yes, but he's also a lot less leveled. <laughs> but anyway, with that, we will enough of my yapping. How far are we? Almost a day has gone by. Whoa, it's so big. It's hard to believe something so huge can actually fly. Oh, you lot. Don't you think we're getting a bit too close? A bit too easily? This is what usually happens before. A vast. Who goes there? A flipping ambush. Oh, no. So you feel the these are here to plunder our plunder. <laughs> I take I take a look in the mirror before calling someone a filthy thief, my friend. Don't make them angry, Swain. They're bloodthirsty sky pirates. If you knew that girl, why would you risk your pretty neck trying to sneak aboard? You're the mighty brave or mighty stupid. Nickers, we're flipping trapped! Trapped, I tell ya! That's Kuble Kubale Kub Le Lai Kublai Kubal E Kubali. I'm just gonna keep on calling him Kubali. That's him it is. Cranky, I got the face on him. There's gruesome. Wait we, we came here to speak to you. 
That's right, we have a favor to ask, Captain Kabali, sir. Yeah. You stroll uninvited into my mountain stronghold, hoping to be granted a favor. What are you? Would be heroes come to take back your plundered treasure? Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. By the skies. Boy, I'll hear you out. Come aboard. Hmm, that's quite a tale, lad. I tis true that I plunder the map and I do it and I do it again. That lily livered fop of a prince had it coming to him. Hi, hey, don't talk about moccasin like that. Not now, Asta. We need those magic stones. <laughs> yes, we do. We need them to help us defeat Shaddaa. By the sky, Shaddaa, you mean to cross swords with the dark jinn. That we do. We've got to stop him before he breaks the hearts of everyone in our world, ain't it? I went completely wrong with that. Drippy was the only accent besides Oliver's that I feel like I haven't messed up, and now I did. <laughs> or at least I was consistent with it. Yeah, yours included. <laughs> you come aboard me ship, and there to compare me to the sniping wretches who fell prey to Shaddaa. Let him try and break me. I'll show the scurvy dog what it is to mean, what it means to face a true adversary. adversary. Well, I'll say this for him. He's not looking for confidence. To die, to be sniffed at. Oh, I'm really messing up with... <laughs> oh god. Uh. Really messing up with Drippy's thing. There's none known that better than I, fairy. So if you're looking to take on Shadar, you'll be posed of the skills to do so, I take it. <laughs> I of course you are. So this will be a child's play for heroes such as yourselves. Huh? What will? Don't fret, lad. It's just a little test of your swatch buckling skills on a day's work for a battle hardened warrior such as yourself. <laughs> huh? What's that sound? Why can't my dragon look like that dragon? <gasps> what the? Hey. <laughs> Mr. Drippy! The red dragon. The scarlet what? Hey. As you know, guys. I'm going to evade that. Okay, I felt like that was gonna hurt. Dragon's breath feels a little. He got me though. I feel like that one's gonna be the one I actually. Oh my god. Oh lord Jesus. I didn't get to do that much damage on the guy. Craggy! I never seen a dragon this big before, man. The big thing looks proper vicious. Our only hope is poison, only boy. Dragons hate the stuff. See? Wait till this guard is down, then have Swain shoot the blighter full of rotten muck in it. Water seems to work pretty well. It's... So I need Swain. Trick shot. <laughs> no, 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 no. Trick shots. Everyone get him. Go for it, go for it. I won't whack this guy. No, Scully! Oh wow, well, well Swain's right in the middle of the damn thing too, so it doesn't really matter, does it? This battlefield isn't as big as I thought it would be. Okay, its defense is up higher. So I don't know if this is the point I want to use the trick shot or wait a little bit. But, 
I will attempt this. No, his defense is definitely up, which is not... Oliver, what the hell are you doing? Oliver, you better move out the way, I swear to God. Oh my God. Okay, his, his defense is... No. He's he's doing dragon scale, right? That's the what no, that's Ready? Crap, it's not hitting. First I'm gonna get this. Then I'm gonna do this. Rob him blind of whatever he had. I'm gonna do it one more time. That one miss. Got him. I won't go. Attack the guy. Got him. There we go. That wasn't as bad as some of the other stuff was. Some of the other battles, I could say. I feel like the familiars outside gave me a better run for my money than this guy. But I'm not going to complain because probably the next guy up is going to be a tremendous killer that will make me cry for saying what I did. So, let's not complicate our lives. Seymour is ready to metamorphose. Metamorphi, metamorphose, metamorphable. He's metamorphable. Well, now, there's not many faces, the old girl's breath, and. And come away unsigned, lad. There's a plucky one, and no mistake. What? What? Why would you set her on us if you knew she was da that dangerous? Oh my god, that was horrible. Yeah, man, what are you doing calling in a massive great big dragon all of a sudden like that? I need to fit me wet myself. Silence, dogs. I'll ask the questions here. The one, where did you get it? What? What does it matter to you? We won't let you have it, no matter what you do to us. It matters to me, girl, because the accursed thing's not supposed to exist. The queen must hear of this. What queen? There you mind now. There you mind now. Follow me. The map's aft in my cab in my cabin. All right, grumpy grunts. Most of the good guys, right? I only ask because the King of the Sky Party appears to like us. Hey, you're kidding, ain't you? We did it, Oliver. Let's go look at the map. What are you worms waiting for? Move your scurvy carcasses. I'm messing up with Drippy's things bad. <sighs> Excuse me again. This is what you came here for. The map of the stones. This here X marks where the stone must be hidden. <laughs> Remote island. Makes sense, I suppose. What well, what are we waiting for? We've got a ship. Let's set let's sail there and find them. Pipe down, girl. Do you think the boats of the seafaring simpleton can reach where even the mighty iron wavering could not? Go. Eh? What the flip are you on about? It's a sight more complicated than that. Waver in here is too large to land on the solitary isle, and the seas around this rotten little rock are riddled with reefs. Jeepers, so we can't get the stones. No such snivering just yet, lad. There's a way there, alright. On the back of Tengari, winged dragon and master of the skies. None flies faster or higher than the pride of my pack of wild worms. Craigie, that's impressive sounding. Come on then. Where is this Tengari? Oh, not very. There's the rub. Tinger has been struck down with the dreaded Largy and flies no longer. Largy? You mean he's sick? Gah, nothing's ever easy, is it? Don't speak too soon. We have the mighty wizard all about on our side, after all. Hmm, you mean to heal him? Well, 
We can't promise anything, but it's worth a try, I reckon. <coughs> Oi, Oli boy. Got a spell or two. Up his sleeves. Oli boy. Oh. Oli boy here's got a spell up or two. Up his sleeves. That might get your dragon friend back on the wing. Yes. You must have something that will work, Oliver. Let's go meet this dragon, shall we? Sure, we can find Tingri. Where can we find Tingri, Captain Kabali? No doubt the great lump will be carrying in the corner of the cave somewhere feeling sorry for himself. See what you can do. Thanks. Come on, everyone. We have a dragon to save. I hope we can save him. Who love nothing more than a charity case, do you? <laughs> well, with that, ladies and gentlemen, we continue on our path. Do, 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 do. Oh, there he goes. That's Tingere. But before we go, I would like to hear everything up because I don't remember if there's a boss battle coming up soon. But better safe than sorry, I say. I say, won't you say, sir? Quite, quite, sir. Why, man? Wait for me, man. Don't see my flipping fairy, man. Whoa, you're one of those dead guys. Wow, greetings. I'm here to tell you that the crypto casino is now open for business. Why don't you come and pay us a visit? We got a fabulous lineup of exciting games and absolutely spectacular prizes. We're conveniently located on the Tombstone Trial, so feel free to drop by at any time. I guarantee you'll have the time of your death. Why, well, thank you, sir. Hmm. Wumpa. Craggy, the dragon looks like he'd lose a fight with a fly man. Not like the one we just fought. Pepper Feisty, he was. Well, he is sick, Mr. Drippy. What's up with you then, tiny, tiny boy? I mean, what is it? Touch of a hornick? Yeah. I don't know what to do there. Come on, man. We can't help you if you just stand there, grunting like that. Uh, uh, I guess he's trying to say something to us. And, you know, dragon. You sure, early boy? But if you say so, let's have a listen then. Oh, you mean... What the heck, man? Look lively, will you? How many animals have you spoken to now? And you still don't know what to do? Cast a spell, ain't it? I... I did know. I was just going to say that. Well, actually, we haven't used that spell ourselves, actually. I think it, just for that... Except for with that seagull in Drippy's town. Yeah, I was trying to remember. Hello, Tingri. We wanted to talk with you. Is that okay? Yeah, we heard you're a bit poorly, ain't it? Tell us what's up, man. Maybe we can help, like. Look, he's scared, aren't you, Tingri? Poor thing. There, there. We won't hurt you. Don't be frightened. You want to fly again, don't you, Tingri? Why don't you tell us what's wrong? What's a good dragon voice? I feel like it'd be deep. But I feel like it keys like being a little girl right now, so. Alright. Go on. I I feel strange. There's a me who isn't me. Another me and he's sick, so so I ca can't fly. Another Tingri? Do you think it means? Of course he's got a soulmate over over in Oli Boy's world, ain't it? You mean back in Motorville? Like my and I. But Tingri's a dragon. That was too, eh, Oli Boy? We've seen people with animals for soulmates before, ain't it? <laughs> you mean like Timmy and King Tom? Sure we have. Exactly. And I reckon Tingri's super sensitive animal mind means you can tell what's going on with his soulmate over by there. What are you lot What are you lot talking about? I don't understand what you're just saying. <laughs> I really can't be bothered to explain it, you know. I'll tell you afterwards, alright? Tingri, the other you is sick in his heart. Do you understand? In his heart. Yes, but don't worry. We're going to make him better. So you'll be able to fly again soon. Really? Really? And when you fly... And when you can fly again, do you think you, you might let us ride on your back? 
Um, yes. Alright. I'll let you. Thank you so much, Tengari. We'll help you. I promise. Gee, Esther, that was amazing. It was, eh? I got so used to the girl. I clean forgot she has such a way with animals. Suppose she's a familiar keeper after all. <laughs> Tengri's not a familiar silly. No. No, he's not much of a dragon either. The massive wimp. You'd be a wimp too if your soulmate was sick. Or have you forgotten what it's like to be attacked by Shadar? No, and I won't forget it in Harry either. Hang about. How come she never stepped in like that when she, when he had to fight the flipping red dragon? <laughs> I'm sure we can do something to help Tingri. Come on, let's go tell, let's go tell Captain Kobali. I'll leave it. I'll leave it for now. Don't want to start up trouble. With his little smiley face, I wonder what he thinks like the whole damn time. Like things like this are happening. Like you bastard. Well, the discovery what has made a mouse of my once mighty dragon. Well, we've got an idea, yeah? Yeah, then I suggest you find the cure, fairy. I should look forward to seeing it. Oh, and so you don't get yourself killed in the meantime, have this. <laughs> Gee, is this one of those treats that makes familiar meta metamorpho oh change? <laughs> that it that it is, boy. I couldn't help but notice you using familiars when you were fighting. And what a scary bunch of scraggers you they were. It's a little one there, old red. Almost cooked you. Now, if I but one of your familiars had eaten this drop, I just gave you and reached the final stage of its development. You have beaten her easily. Hang on, man. I thought we did beat her easily. I mean, I hardly broke us. M Mr. Drippy. Thank you, Captain Kubali. I haven't finished, boy. Every creature turns into one of two different types at the final stage of its development. It's up to you to choose the one you want. Got all that? Good. If you have any sense, you use as many of those drops as you can find. And if you can't find any, make your own. Yay! We got the formula. Gee, another formula. Thanks. Right then, Oli boy. Jobs and familiars are all very interesting. We're sorting old Tingri. It's our top priority, ain't it? Yeah, you're right. We need to head over to Motorville and find Tinkery's soulmate. Well, with that, guys, I'm going to leave you here for this episode of Nina Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as always. And I'll see you guys back here tomorrow with a brand new episode. Thank you guys so much. Have a good one. Bye bye.